Hi there, Paul here from Radio Shop Pickups in South Wales and in this video I'm going to show you how to install a set of Strat pickups. So I'll take you through everything you need, all the equipment you need right from the pickups. Obviously I'm using ours and I'll show you all the bits and bobs you'll need and how to go about it and then we'll finish off after the soldering bit we'll have a look at the pickup height settings. So we'll finish off there and then you'll be enjoying your new set of Strat pickups. Um, this is a nice, well it's a rather lovely GNL Legacy uh, USA, um, it's got our Monterey pickups in there at the moment, but I'm going to take them out and put in something which we're working on, which is a Mark 1 set of our ID63 GT strap pickup set. So we're pretty excited about this. So these are coming out and these are going in. So let's have a little look at what we need. Now what you're going to need to do this job is you're going to need a soldering iron, of course, and you'll need a soldering iron stand. I use these Antex soldering irons, which are 20 watts. And you'll need a sponge. I use 6040 lead tin solder. And you'll need a steel rule for your measurements and two Phillips head screwdrivers for doing the adjustments later on. Some clippers will be handy. And of course, you're going to need your pickups. So the first step of the job really is to look at taking the strings off. So I'm going to actually get and retain these because they're fairly fresh. So I want to put those back on. So I'm just going to remove all of the strings and then set them aside oh, quite far away from the guitar body so that they don't scratch and get in the way. And the next thing now would be to actually remove the screws. And I use like an old sort of jam jar just to keep those from uh, going astray. So just as you take the screws out, put them somewhere safe so that they can't go missing because they're infamous for going missing. Now we'll take out the pick guard, just have a little look at it and then turn it round. And I'm gonna put a cloth underneath it just to protect the body whilst I'm working on things. Just want to reposition that a little bit so that it's completely not touching the body. And the next step is to trace the wires from the pickups and see where they actually go. I've actually got a blender knob um, mod in the guitar now. I'm actually going to change things around a little bit. But if you wanted to retain exactly where things went before, then it's a really good idea to trace the wires and then actually do a diagram for yourself. A little sort of, di even if it's a crude diagram, just so you can re retain that sort of bit of knowledge of where they go, and label it. And as I said, I'm going to actually going to convert mine to, to standard wiring. So it will be a little bit different to what I started with, but we'll have a little look at the wiring later. If you don't fancy doing all this, we do actually do solderless solution loaded pick guards. And you can look up our video, which is called the easiest way to install strap pickups. And you can see here, all you've got to do is, is screwing in of the, uh, the wires instead of soldering. So having traced the wires, we're now going to actually remove those wires so we can get the, pick, the old pickups out. You can clip them if you want, but it does leave you with the problem of actually having to desolder those clipped wires later. So what I'm actually going to do here is just heat up the soldering tip and look at those black wires which are going to the top of the volume pot from the pickups. Just a little bit of um, solder on the soldering tip and that will make it hot enough to melt that solder joint and just take those wires off. If you try to do it without tinning and putting a little bit of solder on the tip first, you'll find it difficult. So always make sure you, you put a little bit of solder on the tip. And again, now those, um, those hot wires from the pickup, the white wires, I'm going to trace those to the selector switch and just heat up the joint there, just very briefly, and they'll come out nicely. You've got a choice now, basically. You can either do the rest of the pickup installation in situ with the pickguard there still connected to the other wires that connected to the body, or we can look at what I, I would rather do, which makes sure you don't get any scratching. We'll look at this picture here. We've only got three wires that are connected to the body, but we're doing plenty of soldering here, so we may as well desolder those and work on it as a loaded pickguard instead. Two black ones are the ground ones, and there's a hot one there from the jack. So we're going to desolder those. But let's have a little look at standard strap wiring. This is where 90% of you are going to find that things are wired up. So those are the hot wires there going for the bridge, middle, and neck to the selector switch. And then for the pick guard, you've actually got the hot output going to the jack. That's from the middle prong of the potentiometer. And you'll have the wires there, the ground wires to the top of the volume pot will be from the pickups and also from other areas on the guitar where it's ground to the top of the volume pot. So they'll have to be removed during this installation. You can see from a different angle here, we've got the ground leads there and the hot going to the middle prong of that pot. So what I'm going to do now, rather like just um, the last little bit of soldering, I'm just going to put some solder onto the tip of the iron and take off those black ground wires that go from the body. And also 
At the same time, I'm going to go in and just heat up that prong on the pot and remove that hot white wire which goes to the jack. And I'm now free to work on basically what is now a loaded pickguard. So it's away from the body of the guitar and basically you're not going to scratch the guitar. So this, is, this really is the best way to do it in my book. And we're just going to just carefully unscrew the old pickups and set them aside. Entirely what you do, up to you what you do with these pickups. You could uh, sell them to fund another project or just keep them to prove the credence of the guitar. Now, I'm looking at the new pickups that are going in here. I'm actually going to change the covers. If you're changing your covers, and just be very, very careful as you remove these, just a, a little bit of sort of prizing them apart and keeping your fingers away from the very middle part of the pickup where the wires are, because if you break one of those, then obviously it's curtains for the pickup. Um, so just be very careful removing the old pickups covers. And new ones, don't always want to go on. You can give them a tiny little stretch on the sides and they should go on nicely. So I'm just putting the old white covers back on and I'm going to put the other covers onto the pickups that are coming out just to keep those uh, safe during um, storage. Next step now really is to identify which of the pickups go where. On our pickups we have N, M and B labelled on them for neck, middle and bridge. Uh, but you can also tell if your pickups aren't labelled, which they probably will be, you can tell from the length of the wires that that long wire there is for the neck and that next longest is for the middle and the shortest one is for the bridge pickup. Now carefully now we're going to install the new pickups onto the guard. You'll need to hold carefully the pickup underneath so you can put some downward pressure onto the screws. Okay, so you just very carefully in the sort of palm of your hand or with your fingers, hold the bottom of the bobbin, the strap bobbin, and just put some downward pressure on the screws, make, making sure they seat properly. And this is quite difficult to do when, when the pickguard is attached, attached to the body because you're likely to scratch the body. So this is why I remove the pickguard. I would just get all the pickups in. Again, you can see me holding the bottom of the pickup with the palm of my hand just to get that downward pressure on it. The next step now really is to plan out where all these wires are going to go. And you can see me there working on one of the uh, ground wires from the pickup. And it's up to you now. You can either keep all of the excess wire or you can trim them. If you trim them, then it means that you've got less wires in the way when you're going to tuck this all back in the body. Uh, but I, I always like to leave just a couple of centimeters of excess, just in case I want to put the pickups in, in a different strap later on or something like that and they don't quite reach. So just keep a little bit of excess, but trim those is what I'm deciding to do here. Are they going to go to the top of the volume pot, all of those black ground wires? So I'm just making sure they reach with a little bit of excess as well. And now, of course, the hot wires, the white wires, are usually going to be white on any pickups. Again, up to you. Do you want to trim the excess or leave it there? It's no hardship to leave the excess there. It just means you've got to do a little bit of tucking in later. So we're just going to decide where they go to on the selector switch. And now the black wires, starting with the black wires from the pickups, the ground wires, which are going to the volume pot. I'm just going to tin all of those. If you're not 100% confident with soldering, check out our series of videos, How to Solder for Guitarists, because we show you everything. Tinning, um, soldering to the top of pots, soldering to potentiometers, and so on. And here I'm deciding to put a new pool there to put the three wires to. So I've just scored it with something a little bit sharper, and I've tinned at the top of the pot, put a little pool of solder there, and I'm just going to put one of the ground wires in just heat up the joint as I go in and put each one in. This isn't how I'm going to leave it really, this is just me getting them located really. So they're now all in place and that actually would be good enough but I'd like a better joint than that. So what I'm going to do is just hold them with my left hand and just heat up the pool, add a little bit more solder just carefully to the top, not fully reheating yet but now hold on to them and reheat the pool at the same time and you'll get a nice shiny joint like that. And now we look at the selector um, connections for the hot connections from the pickup. So we're going to these prongs and again, tin your wires. So pre-tin those um, connections from the pickups and then just reheat the prong, reheat the old solder and just slide it through. So it protrudes by just a millimeter or two, not too far. But just reheat those. So I did the, the bridge on the right, middle was the uh, middle and then the neck will be the left one. 
And now we're going to actually reinstall the pickguard. So look at those old wires. So there's two ground wires. There may be three on your guitar, but they're all going to the top of the pot. And there was the hot wire from the jack as well. So again, like before, just making sure I tin those wires and I'm going to an existing pool here. So I'll just heat up the pool and put those wires in and then add a bit more solder. Again, you may have three ground wires going to the guitar body, but they're all going to the top of the volume pot. So just a little bit more solder and then reheat the pool until they stay and it's nice and shiny. And now I'm going to do the hot connection from the jack, which is this white wire. Um, actually, I got my hand in the way here, so I'm going, to, I'm going to use a little bit of footage from the How to Solder series, just with some wires. All the other wires are, are, are deinstalled, so you can see clearly. And I'm just going to heat, put some actual solder onto the prong, tin that white wire, and push it through as you heat the prong, and it will make a nice shiny solder joint. And I'm using the, the hookup wire, which is the cloth hookup wire, which here, which is easy to tuck and push up to the joint. It's really lovely stuff to work with for wiring. So that's all the connections done. And what I'm going to do now is actually start putting them in, put, putting the pickguard it back into the body. And I'm quite lucky because this GNL has the classic swimming pool route, which means there's lots of room for the wires. What you might find on, on a fender is that you've actually got a channel down the middle. So just in that freeze frame there, you can see that I'm making sure those wires follow a channel down the middle of the pickups so that they can slip into it, the channel in the body. Just carefully now, tuck in your pickguard. Just making sure that it's easy to press down. If it isn't easy to press down in an area, then you've got a wire in the way somewhere. Just relift the pickguard and just poke that wire into one of the cavities. And now we're going to screw in. It's a good opportunity here, before screwing in, you could actually plug the guitar into the jack and maybe through an amp and just tap the pickups with something steel to see if you've got a, if they're actually coming through and if it's all been successful. And I'm going to in, reinstall the strings and just get those up to pitch. And whenever I reinstall strings or obviously install strings in the first place, I like to do a few stretches of the strings, get it up to pitch, re-stretch and get it back up to pitch. So it's all nice and stable. I do this twice when reinstalling strings and three times for new strings. And the last step now is the pickup height setting. So here I'm holding down the strings at the last fret or the 21st. This is a 22 fret guitar, so I'm gonna hold down at the 21st. So I do all my own measurements from the 21st fret. And I'm gonna measure with a steel rule from the top of the pole piece to the bottom of the string and set this on the bass side, which is the low E side to 2.2 millimeters and set it on the treble side to two millimeters. I'm doing this on the neck pickup first, and I'll just do a little bit of remeasuring, readjusting, and remeasuring until I've got them absolutely spot on. Then I'm going to move on to the bridge. So I'm going to get the bridge to the, exactly the same setting, again holding down at the last but one fret on this one, 21st probably on the old strat, and just measuring, getting them absolutely right. And then what I'm going to do is lay my steel rule across the outer poles of all three pickups and raise that middle pickup until it touches the ruler so that the ruler is sitting across all three. This is a nice little hack really to save you from, from some further measuring. Do this on both sides, raising the middle pickup until it touches the pull piece. And what you'll find is because we're actually adjusting something which is on a pivot, once you've raised one side it will affect where the other side is. So just keep re-measuring, go back to the other pickup and make sure that they're both touching it, not going too far or falling short. Once you've done that, you'll actually have all three pickups calibrated for a really good balance of sound and you can start enjoying your strap pickups. Thank you very much for watching our video guys. Hope you found it useful. We'd love it if you get a chance to hit subscribe on our channel Radio Shop Pickups where there's lots more how-to videos and also you can see that what we do. We make guitar pickups for electric guitars. If you're not familiar with pickups, it's the number one way in which you can improve the tone of your electric guitar and all of ours are handmade and hand wound as you can see in this video in our small workshop in South Wales. We make lots of different types of pickups, single coils for Stratocasters, Telecasters, bass pickups, humbuckers, you name it. We'd love it if you get a chance to head over to the website radioshoppickups.com and you can see here just some footage of us making the pickups and there's lots to see, lots more to see on social media as well. If you get a chance, head over to readershoppickups.com 
and you can see on our website the full range of what we do and little descriptions of how they change the sound of your guitar. And you can also check out our reviews page and see some links as well to videos of our pickups in action. Thanks for watching.